No, just a coffee, please. Don't, don't put anything in it or take anything out of it. Thank you. Aye. Do you, uh, do you want to talk about what happened with the job? No. No, if I gave a damn, I might, but I don't, so... Um, shall we all agree that you weren't being allowed to do what you did best? So, I I'll take... I'll get this. No, thanks. I can, I can buy my own coffee. Thank you very much, indeed. Sorry. Sorry, guys, you're needed. Oh. Uh, all right, I've got one. Right, this is Mr. Dave Barrow and this is Mr. Paula Morrison, 32. They've fallen down a steep bank whilst getting lost in the Sherman Woods. Oh, yeah. can you really keep still? I've just got an inch that been scratching. GCS of 15, horses 110, sats of 98. Paolo, same lacerations, but I'm worried about that wire around his neck. And he's got a pulse of 120. We thought it'd be quicker to bring him in than wait for the fire crew to cut my part. Hey, Doc. Holly would have won that, didn't I? I won. That's why I am the boss. Clearly a born leader. Oh, it's probably better that you speak as little as possible. Actually, I'm going to go and get that coffee. Please. Oh. Moving forwards, please, lads. Oh, please, just get this off me! Oh. Just, just keep still. <sighs> this, this potentially could compromise the airway, couldn't it? Um, is there any sign of the, of the wire cutters? They're on their way. Yeah, there's, well, there's a hematoma here. We'll need to do something about that as well. Well, we'll give five milligrams of morphine when we get a line in. Yeah, as I said, we'll need to do something. Oh, here we go. Here's the, the wire cutters. Just in the nick of time. Right. If that um, hematoma's bad enough, then it might need a CT. I'll, I'll leave this in your capable hands, yeah? Um, did you ask about Kelly Foster? Yeah. Ooh. How's she doing? Well, there's nobody here of that name. Mm. There doesn't seem to be any permanent damage to the blood vessels or the soft tissue. You're very lucky. How's your wrist? It's all. I could just work out which way she went. We just got given different routes. Lucky dip. Stupid idea. Hey, hey, oh, get that in here. Look at this. You know where she might be? No. Just thought you'd taken a different route, that's all. Sit still, please. <gasps> oh, hello. Uh, Paolo Morrison, the guy in reached us. His CT's come back all clear, so he's just got a few lacerations that need tidying up. Do you want to take over the case? Demoted and patronised? What's the dessert? Oh, do you know what? This whole sulky teenager act, it doesn't look good on well, you. The professional humiliation is a perfect fit, is it? You didn't even want the job, Dylan. Right, Zoe, I have, I have never failed at anything, OK? Uh, well, apart from my marriage, that's totally different. And I would have made a fantastic clinical lead if I'd been given a fair crack of the whip. I, I... All right, Mr Barris. Is there something bothering you? Yes. Him, the golden balls over there, playing the big man. I think he's just trying to help find his colleague. Look, he cooked up this whole training day thing to make me look bad. He knew what he was doing. What he doesn't get is that leading an army is about being respected, not being liked. Right. Well, Robin here is going to put a splint on your wrist, OK? Track the phone to here. Let me have a look. She's way off course. Isn't she supposed to be there? Told you. Women don't know the left from the right. Excuse me? Are you worried? Kelly's out there on her own and this every man for himself thing was your idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on there. Tonto, this whole team building thing was your idea. So if you're looking for someone to blame, start looking at number one. Uh, right, I'll be back to you later, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can laugh. This little thing saved my life, man. Oh, Dylan, listen, I really want us to clear the air about what... Where are we going? A uh, mountain rescue have found a woman they were looking for. Apparently she's stuck in a trap and needs sedating. So. Uh, right, well, send Cal. He's more than capable. We need all the senior doctors in the department. Well, I'm, I'm doing what I do best, yes, as per your instructions. What's wrong with you? You need to get that looked at. Mm. It's it, hogweed. It was absolutely everywhere in the front. Well, you need to get it treated before it gets blistered. Yeah, OK. Uh, Kelly, uh, we're just going to have a quick look at your leg, OK? Uh, this, this might hurt a little bit. Yeah. That seems to be the way the day's gone. No, you'll be fine, my love. Don't you worry. OK. Uh, we should page the ortho, Reg. She's going to need to go to theatre, I think. How bad is it? Uh, you sustained quite a, a, a serious injury, but uh, the bleeding's under control. Okay. Uh, should we get an iodine pad and a vac splint as well? Uh, when can I see Paolo? Don't worry about that. Let's get you sorted first, OK? So what's this? Do we know what this is? 
Uh, it's, um, it's like a, a, a talisman, you know, like a... What? Well, uh, good luck, charm. <sighs> Stay the leg was in. I thought she could do with all the luck she could get. You'd be amazed, right? I, I, this is a hospital. We are doctors. We trust in science, not this tat. Get out. Could you treat Kelly's hands, please? I want to have a look at yours. I'm not taking no for an answer. Come on. Well, aren't you the hero? And the scars to prove it. Well, if I proved my worth, I suppose. That was never in doubt. In your mind, perhaps. Dylan, you're very important to this department. There you go. Honestly, you want to be thankful you've only got them on your hands. A guy from the team got caught short in the woods and I uh, should see the size of his blisters. Really? Who? You see, these blisters don't look new to me. When did you get them? Oh, it was just after we set off. It's, it's funny because uh, both Miss Foster and I have got the same rash. Look, I know mine's got some lotion on it, but it's, it's not developed nearly as badly as yours, is it? Well, good for you. Yeah, because the, the mountain rescue people told me that, um, well, that hogweed only grows in the very specific part of the wood where Kelly had her accident. Listen, I, I don't know where you're going with this, were but you, I... Were you in the woods a few days ago? Are you something to do with this mess, Dave? If you think that, you prove it. Oh, he can't. Oh. Reese, Reese us? Yeah, me too. Is that, that's not Kelly, is it? You're going to be fine. It was all of a sudden she became dyspneic and there was complaining of severe pleuritic chest pain. OK, she's got a PE. Yeah, JVP's up. Um, can we get a set of bloods done, please, and uh, call X-ray. Let's get a portable chest film taken. Hang on, she's arrested. OK. Can we get a tube in, please? Come on, Kelly, not now. Must be a massive vandalism. Come on. Oh. How long now? Fifteen minutes. Okay, pulse check, please. No output. Okay, small adrenaline, then, please. She's gone. But she's not gone until I call it. Well, then call it. Call it, or I will. Okay, 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 she's gone. That route was meant for him. I wanted to show everyone I wasn't a loser. You did this? I just wanted to show everyone who was boss, that's all. So, in many ways, it's a fresh start for me. And for all of you, I suppose. Now, every profession has its good and bad days, usually a mix of both. But make no mistake, we cannot afford to do that here. Now, uh, if I ask a lot of you, I won't apologise. Ever. And perhaps you know why now. OK. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's get back to work. Still wouldn't trust with my granddad, though, would you? I thought that. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say it wasn't my fault. It wasn't. <laughs> Carry on. Hmm? Well, you, you're supposed to go on to say that she wasn't the first patient to ever die. She won't be the last. These things happen. I never knew you were such a big fan of the cliché. Hmm. I did everything within my power and she still died. 
Nobody could have done anything differently. No, but we do, don't we? We do do things differently. We all respond differently to the circumstances we find ourselves in. <laughs> Some people are habitually lucky. Others, the opposite. So what you're saying, this is all about luck? No, 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 no. No, this is about me.